Hello and welcome. I'm trying to stay calm because it's the third time I've tried this. The um, OBS studio keeps stopping the recordings and I think it's because I'm having to use my keyboard on this one. So um, if this does become a two-parter then it's because I'm going to have to show you with the um, using the keyboard, the saving element um, already done. Okay, quickly, um, this guy helps out a lot. So um, I, I used him and he solved quite a lot of problems for me. And I use one of these. Um, you can't use a mouse. Um, you'd never get anything done. Um, and they're well worth it as well. It's a good way to uh, replace uh, a mouse. Um, yeah, they're fun. Right, so I'm going to use the same image again. Now, this is uh, where we left off from the first tutorial. Um, okay, so you can see it's uh, pixelated. So we, what we want to do is uh, go into image, scale image. Um, you're look, going to be using this with pixels. Uh, this here... Um, as I originally thought, I would just bump up the, um, what I would call the DPI, um, as I used to do in Photoshop, but it doesn't work. This is just for printing, as far as I know. I'm sure there's a way around it. Um, and here are your different, um, whatever, settings. But stick it on no halo. But yeah, I mean, you can experiment, because it's, it's just good to know what they do or don't do. So I'm going to tap in, see this is it, I, think, I know this isn't going to work, I'm going to have to be doing another one. Okay, uh, put in the top one or the bottom one, hit enter and it will, because these are locked, that's a locked uh, layer scale. See what it does, you've got to test your computer out, um, if you're running a low RAM uh, then it will struggle. Um, so you have to listen to your computer really in relation to how big you can get these images. Right, so that's cool. See, no pixels, no pixels, no pixels. They all look, there's some pixels. Um, but they're coming in, you know, way over 600% mag, which is good. So you, in theory, you could um, start working on this one. Um, so you have your original file. And you've just enlarged this. So what you want to do is go to your file. Now I've already opened this file. This is my Europa file. Um, I've already um, made a file because that was part of the demo. But I'm I'm having to cut uh, cut a few corners here. But I'll show you if I went this file uh, save as there's a create folder thing here so I would click on that and it would create another folder um, and here you can see the name coming up um, and it's got an XCF on the end that is a GIMP standard file like uh, PSD would be uh, Photoshop for example so you've got the original, that's the demo I did earlier, so don't worry, but it has the same, the same name. So what you want to do is change that name. Uh, so I'm just going to put YouTube 2 and save that. And that would have save there there you go now if you want to say you can see there's a jpeg there this took me ages to work out um if you want to save it uh as a different format you will have to go to export as okay that's come up as a jpeg because i've already done it but normally that would come up um, as a 
see if I can show. I'll just XCF. No, 